Hello everyone. In today's video, we will discuss the TSC or Torchlight controller. This is the component that sets apart the design of a plasma CNC from other CNCs like router and lasers. Here I will explain why a Torchlight controller or TSC is needed in plasma CNC and how the automatic torch height control mechanism works. First, let's understand why it is necessary to adjust the plasma torch height during cutting. The metal sheet or workpiece that you place on your CNC cutting table will not always be uniform. The sheet may be bent over some areas or its thickness may not be consistent and the workpiece might look something like this. So let's say you start cutting with plasma CNC from this side. The distance between the sheet and the torch will change when the torch is moving over the cutting area. If the sheet is curved up like this, there's a chance that your torch will collide with the sheet and the nozzle may get damaged. Or if the torch moves too far from the sheet like this, the cutting will not be uniform or even sometimes the arc may be lost. So ideally you need a system in which the torch should move in this way, keeping the distance between the sheet and the torch constant to say 1 mm or 0.5 mm. This mechanism that constantly adjusts the height like this is called the torch height controller. Now that you know why TSC is needed, let's understand the principle of how TSC adjusts this height. In a plasma CNC, the electric arc is formed between the torch electrode and the workpiece. And usually the voltage between the plasma torch and the workpiece, let's call it V, is proportional to the arc length delta L. TSC uses the voltage based feedback mechanism method, meaning it's constantly measure this voltage V and send a signal to the CNC controller to compensate for the differences. This is how it will work in a typical CNC setup. There is your plasma source, the CNC bed and the plasma torch. The positive terminal of plasma source is connected to the workpiece and the negative terminal is connected to the torch. There is another connection for the pilot arc also which is used to initiate the arc but it's not used for the TSC. The XYZ motion of the torch is controlled through the CNC controller via stepper motors. And a PC or a laptop sends signal to this controller in the form of G code. The TSC measures this voltage and sends the signal to your controller to move the Z axis as needed. So let's say during cutting you want to maintain a torch height of 1 mm from the sheet. And at this height, the voltage is 120 volt. It's a random value that I am using here and you need to decide it by manually checking at which height you are getting the desired cutting results. Now during cutting, if this height increases, then the voltage will automatically increase. And similarly, if height decreases, the voltage will reduce. The TSC will constantly sense this voltage. And as soon as it goes above 120 volt, TSC will send a signal to the CNC controller to move the torch down until it sends the voltage to be in desired value. And in the same way, if the voltage goes below 120 volt, TSC will send a signal to move the Z axis up. Here, the CNC controller is just running the G code for cutting the desired shape and not moving the Z axis by itself. It is the TSC that monitors the height differences and send a signal to the CNC controller to compensate for the differences by moving the Z-axis. Next, let's look at the TSC wiring connections. If you use a traditional model, the TSC is connected in this manner. And there is a chance that the plasma source will generate high voltage noise and this noise may travel to the controller circuit via the TSC. This may damage the controller and other electronics. This is the reason that these days many TSCs are designed in two parts. One part is placed near the plasma source to sense the voltage and other part is placed near the controller circuit to send the torch up down signals. And these two parts are connected via an optical cable to ensure 100% electrical isolation. 
This is the same principle on which soft circuits plasma TSC is designed. The TSC probe sends the plasma voltage. It then sends the signal to the TSC driver via optical cable and TSC driver sends signal to the CNC controller to move the z-axis accordingly. I hope now you have a better understanding of the plasma TSC and it will help you to design and operate your plasma CNC more efficiently. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section and if you found this video helpful, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching this video and we will see you next time.